right, let's do this. Oh, that's right. We have a whole bunch of saves. <laughs> this one right here. Number eight in the medical storage room. Fight your fears and survive. <laughs> I like that they put that there. Okay, so did I already empty out our inventory that we needed to so badly? Nope, not exactly. Okay. Well, we can drop off these things. We don't usually need to carry those around with us. We don't have the shotgun. I only have one healing item. Gosh, I hate that we have to burn these zombies. It's a fun, like, twist on the game, but man, it takes up a quarter of my inventory just to have these things. Berry Bee, welcome back. How's it going? I meant to ask, what's up with the lobster? <laughs> I saw you putting the reaction on the, uh, the Discord message. I love it, but I don't get it. Okay, I think we'll leave that there. We have tons of healing, which is fantastic. I just can't carry it all at once. Just why not? Agreed. Lobsters are great. I haven't had lobster in a very long time. Um, so I don't know that we need any of these items except for the wooden mount. I think we should take the wooden mount because we were in a room that had like a fireplace that we just started the fire. And I think I need this wooden mount to kind of get an imprint of the, um, what do you call it? Uh, the map. There's like a map of the second floor, which I don't have yet. So we'll take that with us. Not really, t uh, I could get rid of the lighter, but man, <laughs> I really wanna get rid of some more of these zombies. Is there a, there's no kerosene in this room. Darn it, okay. <laughs> I love that Barry B, it's like your calling card. That's great. Okay, now the trick is, can I get back to where I was? I don't really remember exactly where the map was that I want to pick up. I play this game. Okay, right bumper goes to map. It does at least mark where the typewriters are. That's useful. And you know which rooms you haven't completed. I think everything is on the second floor for the most part. Um... Why is the room I'm in red? It's this room, right? It was like red on the map. Is there something I didn't pick up in here? I'm so confused. <laughs> that would make more sense, Barry B, but I like how you keep us on your toes. Aha! What? Are you, are you kidding me? You know what? We probably looked at this before, and I bet... Um, Jill was just like, I don't really need anything right now. But we need it now because our buddy is dying. Okay, let's take that. I already don't have any more inventory space. Um, so if I examine this, there's just enough for one dose. Our buddy Richard. Okay, let's go heal him. Maybe he won't die, Relentless. Maybe we won't kill somebody off. And Taj, yeah, I think I asked you, but are you really enjoying um, that uh, Metroid uh, Dread right now? It seems like it's getting great reviews, which is fantastic. You're loving it? Nice. I probably won't get that one right away, but I am interested in checking it out at some point. Okay, so what's the easiest way to get over there? Not this way. We go around this way. <laughs> Have you not beaten it your first time yet, Tajay? You're still working on your first run. And it seems like it might even be like a decent length to actually stream. It might not be too super long. I'm not sure. I'm never going to kill this zombie. I'm going to let him do his thing. I don't want to waste the ammo. I need the ammo for other stuff. If there's a zombie that's not eminently dangerous, just let it be. Let it be. Which is very unlike me. Usually I kill everything, but I guess I'm turning a new leaf. <laughs> okay, so from here, I think it's in one of these rooms. There's a few red rooms on this side. Yeah, 
about 10 hours, that'd be perfect. That's not bad at all. Not during October, you know, but somewhere around there. There is a door over here we haven't been to. <laughs> and if it's anything like Dark Souls, I'm guessing that when you die, you potentially have to redo some stuff. Hey, here's our buddy. We got your serum. Are you kidding me? We were really fast. Do I have to use it? Like this? It's not necessary to use this now? Because <laughs> he's dead? Wait a second, come on. You're messing with me. Really? Can you not even save him unless you have the serum on you when you talk to him? I don't even know if you can pick up the serum before you talk to him. Oh, that sucks. Richard is already dead. What a tragic friend. Or, what <laughs> a tragic friend. What a tragic fate for such a good friend. You were right. You were 100% right. I should burn the body, right? <laughs> He's going to come back as a zombie, I assume. Is it even possible to help him? I don't remember. Okay, I actually have not been over here. Holy crap. He was waiting right there. Get off me. <laughs> I'm trying to get headshots, but man, it is difficult. He's getting two freebies. Stay down. Three freebies. Okay, I'm going to have to heal after this. Are you kidding me? That was my first death. Oh, no. Just trying to kill some random zombie. Nothing special. What's great is the achievement for that. It says, get used to it. <laughs> I did not consent to that at all. 100% Barry B. Okay, let me uh, reset the counter on this thing. Gosh, that was our first death. I can't believe it. It's always dangerous jumping into a game after I take a couple days off. Because I'm kind of getting used to the controls and everything again. And that's when I'm most likely to die. Which is a bummer. We got the best. Oh yeah, there's like nothing. Well, in this case, I'll pick up the serum. But... There is no reason, let me put that death's counter on screen. There's no reason to uh, take it with me. He's already dead. So you can help him, but he does die eventually. Okay, then I don't feel too bad. <laughs> I don't feel too bad. Oh, nice, JD. Now you have some freedom. Alex, what is going on, Alex? How's it going? I know, RK, I was hoping for a zero death run or something close to it. And then I get killed just kind of goofing off on a zombie that caught me in a hallway. I guess I don't really remember how many bites you can take. That was like three bites, right? I think three bites got me. I was at full health, but apparently it wasn't enough. Now I know. <laughs> but what's going on, Alex? How you been, dude? Okay, I'm still going to take this wooden mount because I want to get that map. Oops, let's go ahead and grab this, and I'll put this in the box. Because <laughs> Richard doesn't need it. <laughs> He's already dead. So I'm guessing I probably could have actually picked up that item beforehand. Uh, before I even knew he was poisoned. Because the only thing that cued me off that there was something in there was when I looked at the map, and the room was still red. Save room. It's like, oh, there's something here I haven't picked up. Oh, that sucks, Alex. You should not be at work. <laughs> Especially now, everyone's like, okay, if you're sick, just do not come in. There, before all of this COVID crap, everybody was just kind of like, oh, I'm sick, but I'm not that sick, which is a terrible mindset, but people were still going to work like that. But now, I just, I don't see that very much. If anybody has anything wrong, they're just like, you know what? I'm going to Hang back at home, make sure this isn't anything worse. So you went to a tabletop game last night and you got to play a character who did not give uh, care about the comrades. Uh, she approached one of them, shake him out of a trance. Nope, took her pistol and put it to his chin. That's one way to wake somebody up, Janie. <laughs> that would wake me up. Okay, so I before we go to that new direction, I think what I'm going to do is try to use this wooden board and also get that um, puzzle item that I couldn't pick up before. 
that's where our buddy is, right? I think he's in this room. Yeah. I think it's... I think it's this room, right? I think this is the puzzle room we couldn't finish before. I feel the same way, Alex. Although I'm in a pretty good position right now, if I have to, I can actually work from home. So that's typically what I would do. A mysterious box. We couldn't get this earlier. Yoink. Now, if we examine the box, what's special about this thing? It has different shapes on all the sides. There's a switch. Will you press it? Sure. Nothing happened? Nothing's happening. There's another switch. Press this one? Sure. Appears as if you failed. Story of my life. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> you know what? I think we need to find an order to this. I think after like four button presses or three button presses, it does that. Okay, so are there any clues on the box? I see a moon with like two shapes like that. What do you call them? Parallelograms and then two halves of a heart on the sun. There's a design of the sun and the moon. On the plate, it says sunshine will awaken me. Okay. So all we do is do the sun ones, which would be this one, right? And this one. Aha, <laughs> we figured it out. There was a mask inside. That's a cool mask. It's a death mask without eyes, nose, or mouth. That's the thing we saw outside, like in the graveyard. It was like underground. Okay, but I think we needed like four masks. There was one without a nose, one without eyes, one without a mouth, and then one without all of them. I don't know if we need all of them or if we just need this one. But we found one. That's cool. Now let's see, you have an XCOM board game set up for a daily challenge of board game month so you can play it after work. Oh, that's awesome, Hasi. I didn't know they had an XCOM board game, but I shouldn't be surprised. They have board games for like, Everything I can think of now. Oh, and Jamie, it was a lot of fun. Um, collaborative. The DM asked you to give another player a big game hunter who was there to kill the biggest thing you could. A devil's bargain. Oh, that's fun. If you succeed in this role to help another player, you break your bow in the process. Oh, that's messed up, Janie. <laughs> that's fun, though. It keeps, keeps it interesting. Okay, I believe somewhere back here is going to be where... I lit the fire and I need the board to get the map. And that's, I totally understand that, Alex. Like it, like the right thing to do would be to not do that, but sometimes it's just not possible. The way your work handles things, it's not always easy to just not go into work, you know? You on money, you screw everybody else at your work, that kind of thing. Mari, what's up, dude, welcome back. Is this the room? I think so. There's a large scratch in this wall. Doesn't look like the word of those rotting freaks. We saw that before. I have a hard time playing mean characters too, Janie. I could probably have a lot of fun with it, but I usually like to play the nice guy. I still get everybody killed, but I try to play the nice guy. It wasn't in here. There are more ink ribbons, but man, I don't have any room. <laughs> Could you work lunch? Isn't that ridiculous, Tajay? Um, that is the greatest thing about being able to work from home, is that you can typically still work, but not put everyone else in harm's way. Are, don't they have other um, Resident Evil games, or board games, Hasifa? I'm surprised there isn't a Resident Evil 1 game yet. So they did 2 and 3 without 1? That's interesting. Probably because of the remakes coming out, I'm guessing. They wanted to capitalize on that. Okay, so in here, we found a few of these, like, bees? Wasps? I don't know, but we can't pick them up. We have to empty our inventory again before we come in here. What the heck is that? 
Um, what should I call it? The, the fireplace. I thought it was on this side of the house. I'm really doing it just so I can get rid of this board. You know what I probably should have done? I probably should have ditched the lighter. Unfortunately, just because the lighter and the flask takes up so much of our inventory. We need it to actually kill zombies. Oh, here it is. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so let me try using the board. Please. That was it. I thought that was it. Okay, so it kind of prints on the board. Now we should be able to take it, right? There's a map of mansion second floor. Take it. Yes. Nice. We've already explored most of it, but at least now we have 100% of it. And we don't have the board anymore, so we actually freed up some inventory space as well. Let's see. Oh, it's called Dark Trophy, Janie. And it was on Kickstarter. There's such cool things on Kickstarter. And speaking of Kickstarter, Hasifa, did you ever get those light guns? I'm still waiting for mine. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get them this year. Ring Banana, how you doing? Welcome. How was your weekend? Okay, what was this door? This is the helmet key. Okay, we don't have that yet. Mm, that makes sense, Alex. Unfortunately, you don't do work from like a laptop all the time. Then you could just take the computer home, hopefully, and just use that. But if you're on a desktop, that makes it tougher to get your work at home. Oh, trophy dark. Eh, dark trophy. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> Different. But yeah, that sounds really cool, though, Janie. Did you, um, I guess, put in for the Kickstarter or are you just watching it intently? Okay, so we got the mask. Uh... I think I need more inventory space to mess with all those um, bees. I'm not exactly sure what to do with that yet. We only have one slot. We can try to go use that mask, I suppose. Oh, Ring Banana, I am doing fantastic. I do have a full work week, unfortunately, this week. I don't have Friday off, but other than that, things are really good. I can watch a lot of horror movies. Some spooky shows, that kind of stuff. Yeah, let's go ahead and refill oh, more kerosene in here. Ooh, Cthulhu and Alien. Those will be some fun games to check out. Nice. Okay, let's, um... You know what? Let's go ahead and drop these off. As dangerous as that is, I want to go check out What's the deal with those bees? And I have no room in my inventory. I'm also gonna drop this off. Just because it's like so close to the save point, we can check that out. Gosh, I've been, honestly, since COVID started, I don't think I've ever even gotten a cold. Just, I mean, I've still been really good about wearing masks, washing my hands, all that, even though I'm already vaccinated and everything. I haven't changed how I do stuff at all. It was this room, right? So, I don't know. I think there is definitely something to do about <laughs> being extra, extra hygienic that helps. Oh, you're going to do a dice bag. That's a really cool idea. Any um, particular design, Janie? Or are you just doing like a solid color? Or what's the plan? But yes, definitely hope you feel well soon, Alex. You said were you saying you were on the tail end of it? Um, poor Spider Monkey. He's been sick too. He's had a really nasty cough. And he is just getting over it right now. He still has it a little bit, but that's why you haven't seen Spider Monkey stream much. And you're working on it right now. Just finished row 11. What color are you going to make it, Jane? Okay, so let's just start grabbing these things. So here's the bee specimen. Okay. Sorted fishing lures. And then what's this guy right here? Seems like they're all the same. Different colors, though. Lore of a bee. Okay, so that goes with the fishing stuff. Because that's not a bee specimen. That is an actual lure. Wasn't there another one? Or, is it, or were those the only two? Something else here. And a fish hook. 
various types of fish hooks. Like, I assume the fish hooks should, should stay there, right? I don't know why I would take that away. If I'm trying to match them all up, I can't put it back, though. Can I combine it with the fishing lure? Aha! Okay. Now we're cooking. So, this is the fishing lures. Let's go ahead and put this golden bee there. And then we'll put the bee specimen on this one. Now we should be able to press the button and something awesome will happen. There's a switch underneath. Do you press it? Yes, we do. There we go. Much better. Oh, another emblem. Oh, no. It's alive. What the hell? Look at the size of that thing. Ow. What am I doing on health? We're fine. I can still see him moving around. I think they're dead. Will you take the wind crest? Sure. Why not? I don't know if we know where to put... <laughs> we stepped on it. I don't know if we know where to put those things yet. Oh, you're going to get into D&D &D with some friends, Shili? That's awesome. None of you have ever really played before, but we've all wanted to. And one of us has the beginner's kit, so we're basically going to jump into it. That sounds fantastic, Shili. Especially since you're all brand new. That's going to be super fun. Uh, I was I never got like, super into it. I had some friends that played it all the time, and I got to join in with some of their games. I had a blast. I thought it was really fun. So since we have all this inventory room, let's go ahead and grab these. <laughs> right, okay, you know, um, my wife showed me a meme the other day, and it was a, I don't know if it was made up or if it was real, but it was like some news article about somebody burning down their house trying to kill a spider. And just the little meme caption at the bottom said something like, yeah, that's a totally normal reaction. <laughs> I just love that so much. Okay, let's combine these herbs make it more powerful and save some inventory room <laughs> you would do that and there's tons of meets up of people if you need it oh that's true that's another thing to think of if you don't mind going out for that Sheely. is like the gaming shops around you that you know they sell like the DD dice and all the books and stuff they might have some games going on there so you could even go there and get some help or like watch one to kind of see how they do it sort of thing and you're making a bard, and you're making it an asexual bard uh, as the in opposition to the stereotypical horny bard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Right on. I like it when people go for something totally off, off the deep end, something nobody expects. Okay, so we finished both those rooms. There was, I think, ink ribbons in this room back here. Let's go ahead and grab them, because why not? I want to make sure all the rooms are cleared off. I do have a little bit of inventory space now. Oh, true. Maybe maybe don't go by yourself, Janie, for sure. If you go with some friends and there's some, you know, people not being very cool, then it's easy to kind of rub, you know, brush it off and move on and still have fun with your night. But if you're doing it by yourself, that's definitely a lot more stressful. <laughs> I love it, Phantasma. It just, it writes itself, doesn't it? Okay, is this room done? I will check the map. No, there's still something here. What am I missing? It looks like someone took something and then left in a hurry. Okay. Aha! There's something in the corner. Another herb. Okay, we're probably good now. Yes! Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and drop some of this junk off at the item box and we'll save it because we've collected a few things <laughs> I love it Janie <laughs> making a classic excuse oh oh getting a phone call gotta go it's an emergency I'm a doctor gotta do a surgery no phantasma what happened was I tried to save them immediately they're already dead so now I'm taking my sweet time I'm not even rushing to help them I'm just kind of like, meh. We'll get there when we get there. Um, okay, we can't finish that room. Well, hold on a sec, though. 
So here's a question. Maybe you guys know. This room back here is red on the map. Is it just red because I have not completed opening that locked door? Or does it mean there's actually like something I need to pick up or finish in here? Oh, this right here. Of course, I don't have any room. Gosh, I wish I could just combine things from here. That's probably all that it is, is that healing item. I would use one, but I'm already at full health. You know what? It's going to bug me. Let's just burn it. I did get a little bit hurt. Not enough to change it from fine. But we'll use that. Pick this one up. I got too many healing items. I just want this room to not be red. So I know I don't have to come back here with an empty inventory. Yep. That was the only item. Okay. Oh, Alex, thank you so much for the lurk, dude. Let's see, he's really, oh, and this is your character, right? He's not really into the whole performing thing, but he's forced into it by his family. And he's too uh, loved to be able to quit. I think it's a pretty interesting backstory. That sounds really fun. And you could definitely have some interesting scenarios and conversations with that too. Okay, so I think we're going to go back downstairs. We'll save it, drop some stuff off, and then we'll take that mask to the cemetery and see what we can do with that. I don't remember what we need to do with the emblems yet. But I do vaguely remember us seeing a place to put the emblem. I just, off the top of my head, I can't think of where that was. Now, I already have those on me. Let's drop these off. This inventory is going to get so full. Um, can I hold on to that? I guess I can hold on to it. Oh, we should grab the mask. Speaking of dandelion, are we getting Witcher anytime soon? I forget when that's supposed to come out. I'm looking forward to it. I love the first season. I thought that was a lot of fun. Heck yes, we're going to use an ink ribbon. Oh, we actually filled up the entire screen. We have to start overriding them. Did you hate it, Phantasma? Were you a fan of the games? Or the books, I guess, more specifically in this case? It was, it was goofy fun. I enjoyed it. it. Wasn't too serious. Oh, and you hated the games too. <laughs> well, then I guess it's not too unexpected, huh? Okay, I think we got everything we need. Let's go check that out. That's what happened to Andy, actually, Phantasma. The Witcher just, or Witcher 3 specifically, had so many things to do. She just kind of got overwhelmed and got a bounce from that game. She enjoyed the time that she played it, but it was just a lot. Um, remember how to get outside. I think it's on the first floor, which we're on the first floor. You know what? I think it's through the main hall. I think we have to get to the main hall. There's a way to do that easily. Right, we can't go that way. <laughs> that stupid broken doorknob makes us go this long way every time. You know, I remember when I first saw Henry Cavill and like the pictures they showed Tajay before the sh there was a trailer or anything. I didn't think it looked very good, and it wasn't a very good picture anyway. But I was like, mm, I'm not sure about this casting choice. I thought he did fantastic. I really liked him in that role. I remember you talking about that. I remember. I don't remember why we were talking about Henry Cavill, but I remember you mentioning that, Phantasma. So I think it's out this way. That's honestly the best part about D&D &D and those kind of games, Shilly. It's not the combat. It's not the roles and everything, because honestly, your DM is going to fudge that stuff to make it fun. It's really just all about the stories, the scenarios you get put into, how you talk your way out of stuff, all of that. It's super fun. I think, I think the mask goes down here. If I remember correctly. <laughs> That's it. It's not the game. It's the friends you met in that way. Even if it's friends you brought with you. Okay, so one of these was missing everything. That one's missing a mouth. 
Is it this man? That one's missing a nose. This one's missing eyes, nose, and mouth. So I think this is where we need to put this mask. Bam. Perfect. Oh, there goes one of those chains. Okay, so we need to find all three of those to bring this thing down. And once we do that, that's what I thought last stream too, Janie. First thing that popped in my mind. <laughs> yeah, once we can do all four, uh, three of the rest of them, we should be able to get that coffin down and find out what's in there. I never saw that Sherlock. He seems like a weird choice for Sherlock. But I guess Robert Downey Jr. wasn't my first pick either, and I thought he was fine in the movies too. But I'm not like a hardcore Sherlock fan, you know? Just very casual. They're fun stories. That one's locked from the other side. I think that's all we can do here right now. We'll have to come back here. Did we finish everything over here? It's on this side. Oh no, there's shotgun shells. Just forgot about that. We definitely need that. <laughs> but but was he wearing glasses, Phantasma? Like Clark Kent? <laughs> Plus 10 to intelligence? That's what he was missing. That's what he was missing. <laughs> Watch me put on my glasses. I immediately look five times as smart. I'm not any smarter, but... <laughs> I like that. That is not what he was missing. Um... Okay, now what are we missing? I guess we can go... Keep running around with a bunch of stuff in my inventory. <laughs> this game's all about inventory management. Um, I guess I should go upstairs and we could check out that new route and kill that zombie that murdered me. And I guess check on our friend, you know, who we know is already dead. I don't know, Phantasma. You know, it's probably very thought out by marketing and stuff where they find out, you know what? People tend to, you know, gravitate towards that kind of performance. So we need to make everybody do that. Whatever's going to make the most money, that's what they're going to do. Oh, no. Richard, who died like immediately when we left. Now, maybe you can't save the game in between when you see him and you find him, but we literally saw him rant in the nearest item box where the serum was, grabbed it, came back, and he was already dead. So I'm not sure. Maybe you had to have it with you. <laughs> Poor Richard. Yeah, I know he's like right there. There's like no room for me to hide from this guy. Oh, crap. This one needs a shield, too. Run! Let's run past him. There we go. Now I got myself some distance. Are you dead? <laughs> that wasn't very many shots. Hey, he's getting back. Now we got to remember to come back and burn this guy once we finish it off. Oh crap, 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 get back. Now he's probably dead. If he gets up again, I'm surprised. And he's bleeding, okay. So one thing I've been forgetting to do is reload my gun in the menu so you don't waste important seconds in a fight. A wizard with a plus three strength modifier. I mean, that's like a funny idea for a character, too. You come up with a warrior that's real thin and frail or, a you know, a wizard that's just beefcake. Yes, I will take them handgun ammo. That's pretty much all I use. It's like some notes, but I can't read them. Too dark to see much of anything. Oh, crap. I don't have a lighter. I bet I need to light the candle to see anything in here. Okay, we'll have to come back. That works out because we need to burn the body too. However, I don't think I have enough kerosene to do that. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Eight different strokes, right, Phantasma? Some some people probably loved that. Okay, where did you... Is that my buddy that just died? Or did another zombie come in here and get him? Maybe he, he raised that quickly. Luckily, we have a ton of ammo, so I'm not too worried about taking them out. Is my friend? No, my friend's still there. That's a new zombie. I don't know where this guy came from. Seriously, the um, zombie groans, they did an impressive job in this game. Resident Evil has always had good zombie groans. Since we're going back to an item box, I might as well grab these. He will eventually. Yeah, so we need to get our lighter and a bunch of kerosene. Um, gosh, the only one I've seen recently was empty, unfortunately. <laughs> He's not dead. He's just napping. Now, in the original Resident Evil, the zombies did not come back. When you kill them, they stay down. But this game just makes it a little bit extra terrifying by allowing them to come back like that. There's a save point just down here, right? I guess this way. Where's the flamethrower when we need it? Yeah, this is it. Okay, so let's go downstairs. Drop off all this healing. I think I'm doing a terrible job at burning the bodies and an okay job of collecting healing and not using it all. So we're, we have an abundance of healing items. I guess I should put the emblem back and the shotgun ammo just to make room because now we have to take the canteen and the lighter Gosh, and now we're out of room again we do have that emblem you know before I do anything else we should examine this thing I always forget to do that You never know when there's going to be, like, something special about it that if you did not press a button, you're missing out on a key kind of thing. It's already happened to me in this game twice, I think. Let's drop this off. I love the save music here. Unfortunately, that kerosene is totally empty. We must have found at least one other kerosene bottle somewhere. Um... I am gonna take to take oh um our ink ribbons. Let's go ahead and save it again. I'm definitely not going for a least amount of saves. <laughs> I think if you could do it in like less than two saves or something, you get some kind of bonus features when you finish the game, like unlimited ammo, something cool like that. Okay, time to go burn stuff. It's a button. I'm good at burning stuff. So it was, let's see if I can trace my steps. It was upstairs. And it was in the main hallway. So it's back this way. You know, I don't know if they do it in this game. I think it was in Resident Evil 2, but during one of those loading screens when you're opening up a door, a zombie comes at you there. And I remember that was like the hugest surprise when I was, as you always assume these loading screens are completely safe. But as soon as that door swung open, a zombie starts coming at you. So neat. Okay, so we only have one. I suppose I'll use it here. Burn this body. One thing that's a bummer is even though we're out of kerosene, it still takes up a slot in our inventory. It really make you think about spatial management. We can't take out that guy, but we can check out this lighter. Or the candle with the lighter. 
Let's see what we're missing. Just use this. There we go. Still can't read the notes. But we can see in here there's some shotgun ammo. Sweet. Funny thing. Thank you so much. Glad you can make it. What else is here though? There's like newspapers and stuff. I can't believe how much stuff is here and we can't actually look at any of it. Was that it? Just shotgun ammo? I mean, that's cool, but I was hoping for like a key or something to make more progress. I think that was it. Okay. We did get ammo in there as well. So the only other door in this hallway requires the helmet key. We don't have that yet. So I think we are ready to go back. Somebody told me, was it you, Hasifa, that we can only go into a room six times before the zombies start getting back up again, essentially. It's not like based on a timer. It's more of a how many times you've entered a room that there was a zombie. Wasn't you, Hasifa? Somebody mentioned that last stream. And uh, that was interesting. I hadn't really thought about that. It's like, well, it's good to know. So I guess you could be... If you're like trying to do a speed run or be very efficient, you could be smart about which rooms you enter at what time so you don't create those, what do they call them, crimson heads before you need to. Okay, so both of those red doors there require the helmet key. There's got to be at least one door we haven't tried yet that will work with our armor key, because we still have the key. Once you've opened up every door that you can, it typically discards the key. So let's check this door over here. Were you helmet? I, it, it was that night. Still didn't discard it though. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, this is creepy. I love seeing the little animated stuff in the background. They did a really good job with it. Only, oh, how close do you need to get to the camera? It's just moths. I think moths are safe. Let's grab the ant. The detail on that leaf. Not bad for an older game. Table made of glass. You know, I actually broke a table made of glass with a bunch of sparklers. <laughs> I was like trying to create this weird chain reaction effect of a bunch of uh, sparklers at once, you know? And I didn't really think about how hot it was going to make the glass table and it just psh, exploded everywhere. It was exciting for the 4th of July. Not what I intended. Okay, we haven't been here before, have we? I think so. I will take the dagger, yes. Foliage pot. Someone was using the bench in place of a stand. Oh no. Who's this? That's not good. <laughs> that face she's making. Forrest has given up the ghost. It looks like he's been dead for a while. That term, given up the ghost, it feels like you wouldn't say that about a friend. Will you take the grenade launcher? Yes. Forrest, you've been holding out on me, dude. <laughs> Probably is, Katamari. I am definitely a klutz. That was more just, and I'm not one to like blow off limbs or anything for 4th of July. I don't buy the big illegal fireworks and cause mayhem. They were just sparklers, but I managed to make sparklers very deadly. <laughs> Here's a plant that's been damaged by exposure to the elements plant that can't handle the sun. Okay, I think that's it here. That's at least two weeks without video games right there. Oh no! I'm grounded! Yeah, that's what it is, Hasifa, the Crimson Heads. I just wasn't sure what the timing of the Crimson Heads were. I thought it was just based on, like, real time, and I think it actually has to do with how many times you walk in a room. Oh, that was weird. Oh, crap. 
um, switch to rocket launcher or grenade launcher. I don't know what's over here. Oh, hello. Oh, it's our friend. I did not expect that at all. Well, it worked. That grenade was super effective. That might not have been the best use for it. Okay, we can't carry these plants, but I'm okay with that. We are totally full. Um, swap back to this. <laughs> it totally does funny thing. The sparkler exploding glass table definitely sounds like me trying to brute force a puzzle and succeeding somehow. I, I had to get through the obstacle and I just burned it when that wasn't what you're supposed to do. Okay, I think that was pretty much all that we could do here. Grenade launcher is important. It's not going to help us get to any new place, but that is going to be very good for bosses and stuff. Okay. So, what other rooms are locked that we haven't checked yet? I see two locked doors kind of at the top left. Let's head over that way. Oh, interesting. So it's not clear cut like I was thinking, Hasifa. You know, I think because this game has crimson heads, there may be less zombies in this game than there were in the original. I think I'm just on the normal difficulty. Um, they had weird descriptions of the difficulties. I picked the one that just said, like, uh, you're experienced and you want a little challenge. It wasn't like the baby mode or the super challenging mode. It was kind of the one in the middle. I think I need to go to this one. I don't even know if it named them like easy, medium, hard. I think it just had like descriptions. I'm hoping it unlocks this door right here. Oh, that one's on the other side. I like that, Hasifa. That's pretty cool that it is a random timer. I actually really like that. Okay, let's go back here. That makes speedrunning the game even trickier, you know, because you have a a little bit of randomness that can screw up your run. I bet it's really frustrating. Oh my gosh, for speed running. Um, crap. I can't even shoot this guy. I'm gonna try to run past him. Actually, I'm gonna try to go back in the door. That wasn't cool at all, game. He was like right there waiting for me. Okay. Let's try to run in there and I'm gonna try to run right past a zombie to get some distance so I can actually shoot him. I don't want to waste a grenade. Nice! Juked him! Oh my gosh! That was a lucky shot! <laughs> and uh, Beeling Award, how you doing, dude? Welcome back. Okay, um... We've been here before. Where was the locked door? Oh, I just passed it. It is right here. Dang it! That one's the helmet key. Okay, where the heck is the last armor key or armor door? And oh, pawns. Good welcome. Let's check down here. Okay, there is a door right next to that typewriter. Let's check that one out. And then there's two more in the hallway. So many doors. Some of these I could have sworn we've already opened. Maybe not. So we go down here. That's where the save point is, I think. So we're going to go right past it, right? This way. Those camera angles. I don't like this scene right here. That glass looks like it's about to break, doesn't it? I swear a dog's going to jump through there at any second. Hey, there's another one we haven't unlocked. If this game had no map, gosh, it would be so difficult. And take the wait, I can't take it? Oh, sweet. It doesn't take up inventory room. That's for our um stun gun. The candlestick shines coldly in the moonlight. That candlestick's not lit up at all. 
What are you talking about? You hear that? Sounds like something's about to break through glass. Can I use, can I, oh, I can't actually light the candles. Oh, I see him. Look at the shadow. <laughs> That's really cool. Let's try going this way. Away from the zombie. Because you know he's going to reach in and grab me or break through. Oh, no. I do not have any fuel for you. The shelf is full of high proof liquor. Can't we use that for kerosene? Dang it. <laughs> it's like we could totally light a zombie on fire with alcohol. Clothes and various bits of junk are scattered everywhere. Let's grab the ammo. Yes, I will take the magazine. We have a lot of pistols. Oh no. There's something right there. Keeper's Diary. Oh, we're going to hear their story. This I love in these games. Sometimes you get a little bit of story that has nothing to do with the overall plot of the game. It's just a little situational environmental storytelling, just to tell a short little story about what you're seeing, which I really like. A Keeper's Diary, May 9th, 1998. Played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from Security and Steve from Research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating. Scumbag. May 10th. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. Ugh. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. May 11th. Around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up. Scared the shit out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on said there'd been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. May 12th. I've been wearing this damn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. Goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. What a jerk. <laughs> May 13th. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. I think I remember this um, note. Found another May 14th. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day. Which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. You think? If anybody finds out... I'll have my head handed to me. May 16th. Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy, and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm, and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? May 19th. Fever gone, but itchy. Today hungry, eat doggy food. May 21st. Itchy Scott. Came ugly face, so killed him. Hasty. Itchy. Hasty. <laughs> yes, I remember that one, Relentless. That's like one of the most classic Resident Evil notes you ever read. Itchy. Hasty. <laughs> Seriously, um, Biling, that sounds terrible. And I'm trying to remember, do you like to go by Biling, Gord? What's the name that works best for you? It's a gruesome story. So that's the guy that's in this closet right now, probably. Oh. There he is. Let's go this way. Oh, he's there too. Okay. Is there anything to do in this room? There is stuff to pick up. Okay, I shouldn't just leave. What I should do is grab that grenade launcher and hopefully get them both at once. But I'm not sure that's going to be possible. There's another battery pack. That's good. Are you coming? Come on, buddy. 
So if I can get them both in the same general spot. That didn't work. I was going to hopefully get them both, but that didn't work out at all. Okay, let's shoot the other one. Because there's still something I need in here. Okay, the music's still going. It's like, I know you're not dead yet. Talk about shooting blind. And the music stops. Oh, just Bill. That works even better. Welcome, Bill. Okay, let's uh, find that. <laughs> Itchy. Tasty. <laughs> That's great, Relentless. He became a skin gorilla, too. Essentially, yes. Clothes and various bits of junk. Already read that one from the other side. So what did I miss in here? We got the taser. The door is stuck on something and won't budge. Get in that closet. Don't tell me I killed them for no reason. The room is still... Oh, now it's not red anymore. You know what? It was probably just that thing that I picked up. Oh, I could have ditched them and saved my ammo. That's okay. It's always fun to kill zombies. But I do need to be more careful with my grenades because we're going to want to save those. Okay, so there's a few new places we haven't been to. We've been over here. This actually goes back to where we were before, I think. It was one of those doors that was locked from the other side. Oh, God. <laughs> He's just waiting for me. Okay, that's a good reason to use a grenade. 100%. We got to take care of him because he's going to get me regardless. We do have to go back in that hallway later. I hope it gave me a little bit of distance. Oh, crap. I wasted another shot. It didn't look like he was dead. <laughs> it looked like he was coming after me. Had to be done. Had to be done. Okay, let's equip the pistol again so I don't accidentally shoot this when I don't need to. Again. Here's the zombie that's just waiting for me. Just anybody home? Just patting on the glass. So cool. What if I, like, come up here? Hello? Oh, I can't actually, like, interact with it or look at it. Interesting. <laughs> There's a hoe there in the corner. Or a rake. Oh, we haven't been here yet. What is this contraption? The lid on this water pump is open. Up the water? Sure, what happens? Which way will you turn the switch? Green? Uh oh. Oh. Well, you know what? We have to go back to the item box. And I think we need to get that um, bag of stuff used to kill plants. I have a feeling if we get anywhere near that thing, it's going to attack us. Is the door we came in right here? I think it is. Okay. Oh, yeah. Screw that. Let's come back. <laughs> Let's poison that plant. I know we've had that in our item box. I forgot what we needed it for. Are going to jump through? Run! Good. Where is the nearest item box? I think it's this way. Seriously, Bill, every time. Every single time. The worst moment, right? Makes it exciting, though. Okay, it should be just around this corner. I forget how much of this game has, like, no music at all. Let's uh, drop this guy off. We actually have some 
grenades we need to load it with as well. We have shotgun shells. Let's drop this off. Look at all the shot. Um, I haven't found kerosene in a while. Maybe I should drop these off. Let's get... Where is it? Here it is. Chemical to use on plants. And... Do I bother saving right now? I don't have like a ton of saves. I think I'll, I'll hold off for now. This should be good. A lot of pistol ammo. I almost feel like the game wants you to like, just take one gun at a time. Because if you try to take two guns and you have ammo for each gun, that's literally half your inventory. Just weapons. Two guns, just lots of ammo. Can't carry hardly anything else. You want healing, a lighter, whatever. I think it is, <laughs> RK. I think it is. Kind of. I mean, it doesn't have the big head on it, but it kind of reminds me of. Uh, have you ever seen Little Shop of Horrors? That's what's his name? I was gonna say Seymour, but that's the guy that feeds him. His name. I forget the plant's name. So I'm gonna try to put this. I think it was poison, right? Yep, an ag chemical agent used to destroy plant growth. So let's try to use this here. Hey, there we go. Don't don't bother pouring it in. Just drop the whole bag in there. I hope it absorbs it. Um, okay, we're gonna pump green. How do you like that? Didn't seem to have much effect, did it? Okay, let's stop pumping it. Let's try to pump... Oh, red. I think it's red because that thing has a red symbol on it. Right there. Just kill everyone. Oh, there we go. That doesn't look good for it. It's like it's spewing blood, right? Okay, we could probably stop this now. You don't need to use this anymore. Well, never mind. We'll just let it keep spraying poison everywhere. Great idea. It looks like the pumping caused it to wither. Oh, look at all these herbs. Are those herbs we could pick up? Maybe not. Sure look like herbs, doesn't it? These little pots on the left. It looks like a ton of herbs for me to pick up, but I can't. Oh, here's another one of those masks that we need. This is the one without eyes. Let's grab that. I think that was it. Check the room. Yeah, we're done. But there is something in the hallway that we missed, and I have no idea what. Let's check that corner desk again. Pose. Something's red. Oh crap, here it comes. Both of them. Great. Oh, come on. Run! That was close. How many shots are you going to take, dude? Okay, that's one. What about your buddy? Oh crap, he's right there! Get out of jail, free card. Luckily, when you do have to stab them or shock them, they're pretty weakened. You forget how creepy these static camera angles are. They limit your uh, visibility so much. So what item was I missing here? It's still red. I didn't see anything on the table. There's like nothing in the hallway. Try this again. Talks about the candlestick. Something on the wall? Let's see pictures. I, I don't see anything to pick up. There's no locked door. Oh, there is one door we missed. Is that why it's red? I thought red means there's like an item you need to pick up, 
but yeah, apparently I missed and right. Look how easy that is to miss. A little corner right there. Yoink. There we go. Oh, here's the item. It was actually in this little nook. My bad. We haven't been in here yet. Fingers crossed. Helmet key. Nope. <laughs> what is this? There's an inscription here. A tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. Okay, well, we do have a... I don't have a with me, but we do have a blue gem. I bet we stick that in one of its eyes and we need like a yellow gem for the other eye, potentially. I'm not entirely sure. And Gabriel Paradis, how are you doing? Or Paradise, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. So it's not one that you need. It's a room that the pickup in there. Okay, so it's not like a absolutely necessary item specifically. There's just some pickup. It doesn't have to be required, I suppose. Oh, hey, Gabriel. How you doing, dude? Are you a big Resident Evil fan? Man, I haven't played this game in 20 years. I love it, but I've forgotten so many details. It's cool to kind of discover it all again from scratch. Okay, so now that room is red. And I think it's just because we haven't finished that puzzle. So let's go back and get the gem. I don't know if we have two gems or not. Maybe we do. Maybe we actually already have both gems that we need. I know for sure we have a blue one, I think. Our item box is right here. I'm not looking forward to when those things come back as crimson heads. Two of them in one room? Okay, we'll check our item box. There's the blue gem. Let's grab that. We don't have any other gems, so we'll go ahead and put that one in there just so it's done. We'll just have to remember that. And we also have this mask we can put in there as well. Yeah, I don't remember, Gabriel. It's been so very long. I remember a vague big boss battle with some big monster near the end. But that's about all I can remember from, like, who the main bad guy Let's go drop that thing off right over here. And are you just a big fan of Resident Evil in general, Gabriel? And which is your favorite of the series? I feel a little bit more safe. Or just Umbrella. That's true, Gassi. But that's always the right answer. Um, but yeah, I feel more safer now that you told me it's based on time. Rather than how many times I go in a room. Okay, it is that. Okay, so there's going to be a yellow stone we need to find. Some oh. Ah, okay. So this might be optional. We might not get anything that we need, necessarily. But if we find a yellow stone, we can get some more ammo, or who knows what we get on the other side. That's cool. We have a ton of shotgun ammo. Let's go drop that off. And we can go take the mask to the other room. But we're still not done with our key. The, the armor key. And if we look at the map, I think it's got to be one of those doors upstairs. I feel like we've checked, like, every other door. That might be it, Gabriel. Yeah, it's been so long. Okay, let's drop some stuff off. And it's interesting how it, it wasn't always zombies in Resident Evil. Like in Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3, it was always zombies, but then in Resident Evil 4, they changed it, and it was Las Plagas or something like that. It's something totally different. And uh, it's like, you know, still monsters, 
things like that, but it's just very different. I don't know if I've even found what to use that yellow emblem on. You know, I think I'm going to go ahead and save it. I feel like we've done quite a bit. <laughs> Hate to lose that progress. There we go. Yeah, and Resident Evil 8 was even a bigger departure. Right, Gabriel? It was like werewolves and empires and... Sneezes. It's all kinds of stuff. And Resident Evil 8. Resident Evil 8 was very different. And 7 too. It wasn't Resident Evil 7 like, what do they call it, the molded or something like that? It's just that weird black tar creature thing. All kinds of neat stuff. Okay, let's drop off the ink rims. Aether, good morning. How's it going, Aether? What time is it where you're at right now? We still haven't figured out what to do with this emblem yet either. So we got a crest, an emblem, serum. And I think that's it for these like quest puzzle items. I know what to do with the mask. And we'll hold on to the mask, but I want to check out these other rooms upstairs. We haven't... Did I check that door right there? Oh. Let's just go run around and do it real quick. Just to be sure. <laughs> okay. And then we take a right. Go all the way down to the hallway. Which actually goes backwards, essentially. It's like a nice shortcut. So is anybody excited for that new Resident Evil movie that they've announced? They actually have a trailer you can watch now. And what do you think of it? Like, it was not really what I was expecting. I think Resident Evil 6 has like a mixture of different things. You have like three main playable characters, maybe four even. And each one is like a bit different. Like, I think Leon fights zombies. Somebody else fights the Las Plaga stuff. Oh, excellent. This is another one we were able to unlock. It does, doesn't it, Bill? I, I don't. I can't say that I hate it, but I don't love it either. It looks kind of B-movie, which I guess I was hoping for something a little bit more serious and dark. But uh, it looks like it might be a fun B-movie kind of thing. Maybe something that would have been released directly to DVD. Something. There's something written in the corner of the picture. Commemorating the completion of the mansion. They have so many pictures of the mansion in the mansion. Oh, look at the bar. A wooden counter made of oak. It gives off a pleasant aroma, like fine wine. And Scold, you just started Resident Evil 6 and so far you're hating it? I will say Scold. Out of all the Resident Evil games I've played, 6 was my least favorite. Now, are you playing single player or multiplayer? Because I played with a friend, which I think, honestly, even a game that's not very much fun, you can make more enjoyable playing at co-op for sure if i was playing it by myself i think i would have liked it even less than i did but as far as like story and everything it was definitely my least favorite of all the games <laughs> yeah it, it basically it's, it's resident evil 4 but much 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 worse it's like it, it, i like 4 better than 5 and i like 5 better than 6 and they all kind of have the same formula and you're excited for the new one mostly because you love b movie <laughs> Wait, what? Berry Bee Cakes. You're, you're excited for Resident Evil because you like B-movie? There's some correlation I don't get there. Oh, there's a piano. I bet that's a puzzle. An expensive-looking grand piano. Oh, I guess we don't have to play it. Okay. I was half expecting to have to play something. Maybe that's... Maybe I'm thinking of Silent Hill. I think Silent Hill might have a... Uh, my gosh, what happened to those? Oh, you're not talking about B-movie as in like the animated B-movie, Barry B. You meant like a B-quality movie. Now I get you. 
Now I get you. What is up with the graphics in this scene? Like that looks terrible. Can you guys see? It might not be high enough resolution depending on what screen you guys are on, but this looks, it looks awful. Like it looks like a, like a weird water painting or what oil painting maybe? Maybe it looks like an oil painting, but it doesn't look the same quality as that. Like if I look at the background, that looks all pretty clear, clean when I come over here. It's just, I don't know what's up with it. <laughs> Something's weird. I don't like that scene. Didn't render it properly. What is this? Oh, there's a bookcase we can move. Okay. See something glowing back there. Okay, they forgot to put a few pixels in there. Will you take the musical score? Piano puzzle. Anything else over here? Or is that it? I agree, Scold. I wouldn't be surprised if they do at one point, but I think they'll probably do that later on down the road because they just released this one, like, what, three years ago? It's kind of like slight remaster of the GameCube remake. So it might seem a little like they're milking it. I bet they'll wait another three or four years before they try anything else. So what, do I use this here? Use it directly on the piano. Let's examine it. Maybe I need to examine this. Moonlight Sonata. My mom can play that on piano. I used to love hearing this song. Ah, a section of the music is missing, leaving only beginning and end of the music. Interesting. Okay, so only the beginning and only the end. I started playing uh, Resident Evil Revelations with my wife, Gabriel. We, we enjoyed it a bit, but I think we had like a trial or just the first episode because I couldn't play it very much. Like we only had like one episode or something. I still can't use it there. <laughs> I was thinking that in the back of my mind, funny thing. Oh yeah, B movie time. <laughs> Not B movie as in cheesy movie, actually the movie titled B movie. What the heck do I do with this musical score? I'm kind of shocked that I don't need it for the piano. I'm kind of offended. <laughs> oh, was there a Resident Evil game on a ship, Aether? I'm not sure. Oh, and I totally missed that before, Aether. It is 5 a.m. for you? Holy crap, dude. Why are you up so early? Do you have work in an hour? That is ridiculous. Oh, is it Revelations that on a ship? The one I remember, I think we were in, and maybe it was Revelations 2. We were just like in a forest and we were playing as Barry and like the little girl. Guess I don't use a musical score here. Interesting. Missing music. You know what? Maybe we have to find the missing music page, put it in the book, then come back and play it. I bet that's what we have to do. The key component there is it's missing a page. <laughs> and Relentless a few years ago. What's that in B-movie time? I'm trying to remember. I think I thought B-movie came out like in the like early 2000s or mid 2000s. No, no, no. It was the opposite. I thought B-movie came out recently and it came out like 15 years ago. So three years ago is probably like 15 years ago. B-movie time. Okay, so we're not done with that room. We're also not done with the clock. I have no idea what to do with the clock. <laughs> if you ever need to help fall asleep, Aether, you've come to the right place. <laughs> That's great, baby. I've never seen B-Movie. We just have a like an inside joke on the stream about B-Movie time because I grossly underestimated how long ago the movie came out. Yes, 2007. I thought it came out like in 2015 or something. I thought it was much, much older than it actually was. So now B-movie time is whenever I have no idea when something happened. The two have run through each other. Gosh, I don't know what this thing is asking me for. 
feel like we need to open up that clock so we can adjust the, the hands. Okay, well, I think I should go back, go upstairs, and check those two doors, right? Those might be some of the only doors we haven't actually tried with our key yet. I know our key is still useful because it hasn't discarded yet. So there's still a few we haven't tried. <laughs> or, or if I can keep you entertained, even better, Aether. But a lot of folks have said, John, your voice is so relaxing, it puts me to sleep. Hey, that works too. Um, did I pass it? It's all upstairs. I need to go this way. It was almost 15 years ago now, Katamari. Isn't that wild? Let's see, and you were part of the B-movie script trend? You know it well? Wait, the B-movie script trend? What is that? Or you just know the script of the movie? Is that what you mean? Okay, so we're going to run up the stairs here. <laughs> what is time, even? Agreed. I mean, especially with, like, the way the world is right now, it's hard to keep track of anything. It's just, it works out that way, Skull. I don't know how. I don't know why. But I'll take it. Okay, that was a helmet door. I don't know if I tried this one over here. I don't know if I have Revelations one bill. I might. I have a lot of games on Steam. It's hard to keep track of them all. No. I tried this door. This one didn't work. Yeah, that's locked from the other side. Okay, so now I think we're ready to go to the opposite side of the mansion. Try out a few more of these doors and then hopefully we'll be done with this key. But before we do that, we can drop off this mask that I've been carrying around for how long? Mask is weighing me down. Now, even folks that are big Resident Evil fans have probably not played every Resident Evil game. Like, for example, some of you folks are probably big into the games. Have you ever played Resident Evil Dead Aim on the PlayStation? It was a very kind of mediocre, kind of like light gun type of game. I don't even know if you could use a light gun, but it was like a first person type of game. Yeah, Gun Survivor. Yes, thank you. There was definitely some more, much more obscure Resident Evil games. It didn't do too well. They're different. Very weird. And then there was a... Um, Oh, what was it called? On the PS2, there was some multiplayer ones. I can't remember what they were called. But you had to have, like, the modem installed to play them. Okay, so which mask do we have? Outbreak, yes. Thank you, Hasi. So this is the See No Evil mask, which I think is this one? Holes where the eye should be. Okay, let's drop it off. Boom. Oh, that's creepy. Why is it bleeding? <laughs> Why is it bleeding? I like how it gets on the camera, too. It's so gross. <laughs> no, you're breathtaking, spider. How you doing, dude? Let's see. Like Doom with zombies, as far as you remember? Kind of, it wasn't quite like Doom, because I don't think you could actually move your character, if I remember right, Bill. I think, like, the game just kind of moved itself, and you just, like, moved the cursor. There was one kind of like that, at least on the PlayStation. <laughs> Poor spider still hacking... Still coughing. I can't wait until you're done with that crap. <laughs> right, Barry B? It's not blood, it's just juice. Oh, you could move in turn. Okay, maybe I'm thinking of a different game. There was a couple on the Wii that were like that, I know. There was Umbrella Chronicles and... What was the other one? Darkside Chronicles? I think I had Umbrella Chronicles. I had the first one. I never played the second one. Okay. Well, let's check these last few doors right around here. Let's see which ones are... He can hopefully open up. And open up that one. There's two on the other side over here. <gasps> I'm just scared another Crimson Head's going to pop up. I don't have any good weapons to fight him. Luckily, we finished that room. 
Because there's something in that corner, but there's nothing for me to grab in there, so... No reason to bug that zombie. We'll just we'll leave him there in peace. I actually just saw a YouTube video of uh, this channel called Stop Skeletons from Fighting, and he was reviewing like a... It's like a mobile port of Resident Evil 4. It looked terrible, but it was interesting to see how different it was. I had definitely never played that game. You guys play a lot of mobile games? It seems like one really big negative about mobile games is that as like operating systems improve, the new Apple, iOS, whatever, a lot of those games just kind of disappear. Like you, you can't use them anymore. You have to keep your old phone, which very few people do if you want to keep playing those games. Like that really sucks. I'm gonna skip right by these guys. Oh no, I ran backwards. The camera turned me around. There we go. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Let's go this way. Holy cow, I might need to come back with a big gun for that. I think there was three of them. I think I heard three zombies come at me. We're still doing good on health. There's two... Holy crap. Whoa, where did that other zombie come from? He was not there before. That one jumped up and then when I turned around there was another one right behind me. That wasn't cool at all. You know what, I think we're gonna come back with a shotgun. <laughs> I think one of them was. One of them was magical. I have no idea where that zombie even teleported from. Okay, let's uh, let's take some of these jerks out. Let's, um, I don't know what to do with the music yet. Let's grab our shotgun. And I have a bunch of ammo. How many shots can I load in this at once? Six, probably? Yeah, six, okay. Let's, let's take this. Let's uh, take out some of these zombies. I remember when I first played this game on GameCube, and I was used to the original game, so when a zombie shot back up, was all red and came after me, that was one of the most terrifying things I think I'd ever seen as a kid. Oh, Janie, I can't wait to see it, that's cool. Was it easy doing like the drawstring and everything for that? Oh no. I always forget about that. You have to go around the long way. I would, is there a way to fix that door? I would love to fix that stupid doorknob. It, that door over there I know I can't go through. That's the... needs a helmet key. We have to go back here, go downstairs to the main hall, and then we can fight. Oh, just a series of gaps? That's super easy. On. You 100% did not understand the size when you began this project. So, Phantasma, was it too big or too small? <laughs> Agreed, Bill. Why do you even need a doorknob? If you're the mas master of unlocking, you should be able to, you know, jerry-rig it, right? Try that door back there. Let me go back and check real quick. I'm scared I'm missing an important door. <laughs> Whoa, two and a half feet long. That's actually really good size. Where are you going to put it? You know, I know there's like a zombie right around here. I'm scared it's going to pop back up. I don't think we had enough kerosene to burn him. Oh, there he is. You know what? I don't need to go in here. Oh, that was close. I'm still going to take him out, though. I got my shotgun. We might as well do it. We have to go back there anyway. I'm pretty sure that door is another helmet door. Okay. Aim our gun up. Get that headshot. Boom! Headshot. Yeah, that's a shield. Okay. Oh, shield. Wait, what do I have? Armor. Okay, I just have normal armor key. Okay. So there's... Are there four keys? We had a sword. 
armor, there's a helmet and a shield. Totally forgot. Oh my gosh, Max! <laughs> Boom! Max 1994. Thank you so very much for that subscription, dude. 17 months with the channel, Max. And for everybody new to the channel, welcome aboard. If you guys have not noticed, you have a bunch of little avatars at the bottom of the screen there. Let me bring them back up real quick. Anyone that follows the channel gets one of these little characters. Speaking of which, um, Sweet T. Rakim, thank you for the follow. Um, with those characters, sometimes we do little celebrations, like when we get a sub or something, I drop tokens just like that. If you type exclamation point jump, your little character will try to jump up and grab those. You can use those tokens to customize your characters down there. You can play sound effects during the stream. We use them for giveaways. You can even save up a whole bunch and request the next game that we stream. So lots of options of what you can do with those. But Max, it's good to see you, man. Let's see, and you will now focus on recovering your long distance vision. I feel like I'm cross-eyed. Oh, seriously, if I'm on a computer too long, they always say take breaks. Like if you're staring at a screen, just take like a 10 second break, 20 seconds, and look at something far away. And then go back to your screen. And then after a little bit, look at something far away just to change your focal point. It's supposed to be good for your eyes versus focusing at one spot for way too long, which I often do <laughs> as I'm doing right now <laughs> playing this game. Nice catches Phantasma and Aether. Oh, I can't wait to see it, Phantasma. That'll be cool. Okay, so that door was blue bar. We're we not going that way. What was in that room that we were missing? I mean, I have the inventory room right now. Maybe I should just go grab it. And you have to do a TIE Fighter. Well, the TIE Fighter will be much smaller, right? Like, is it going to be to scale as the Destroyer? So you have this big, huge thing and then just a little tiny TIE Fighter. That's true, though. If the paper is smaller, that'll make it just take longer in general, right? Oh my gosh. And Max, what are you doing, dude? Max, not only with his own son, but then the gift sub to Valentino. Thank you so much, Max. Did you think it was over? You think it was over? <laughs> Love that. Thank you so much, Max. Bam, bam, and down. Honestly, Max, I did think it was over. But I appreciate it, my friend. That's awesome. And you want to fly the one tie since child? Wait, what is that? Bill, I don't get that. Aether, good catch, dude. Okay, so what am I missing in here? I remember that we grabbed a healing item, I think. Oh, maybe you meant that, Bill. You wanted to fly a, a TIE fighter since you were a kid, right? I think it's like, Katamari, you caught two of them. Good catch, Katamari. Okay, there's definitely something I'm missing here. Can I push this? Oh, I totally missed that before. Hello. There's something there. I don't see anything there. Let's try pushing it the other way. Look at that. There's like a whole secret room back here. Oh, God. <laughs> that was too close. <laughs> Let's see. Have the residents been evil yet? Honestly, it hasn't been too evil. We've been pretty lucky. I made a really stupid mistake early on in the stream. We have one death. But I have only died once in almost two streams of this game. Not too shabby. Why did that miss? I did get a main character killed, but I don't think I could have helped them anyway. Oh, that was creepy. I love that voice. Or that moan. Are you going to get back up? Let me go ahead and reload this. <laughs> the real evil resident was John all along. <laughs> it's like that, that story, I Am Legend. The, zo oh, the musical score. Heck yes. Nice. Okay, now we should be able to do whatever that puzzle is with the, um, the piano. Speaking of which, we need to get a screenshot of that piano for Therapy Android. <laughs> Can't forget. Can't forget.
<laughs> Ring around the table. Can't catch me. Okay. Uh, where is it? There is a piano. Yes, we, we needed the, the missing musical sheet. I think it's... Where was it? <laughs> Crap. Um, I can't remember where that was at all. Oh, Bill, thank you so much for the follow, dude. Oh, nice. I'll check it out after stream, Phantasma. Thank you. Um, I don't remember where that piano was. I'm getting senile in my old age. Was it on this side of the map or on the other side? I think it was downstairs. I think it was kind of like right below where I am. If I'm right. You know, we started collecting Funko Pops, like when they were first kind of getting popular and then we kind of fell off and we haven't bought any new ones in a long time. But we do have a handful. I think we probably got a dozen or two, maybe. Maybe not two dozen, but we definitely have more than a dozen. Okay. Is it up there? Or is it down? I think it's downstairs. I think it's downstairs. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Where was the piano, guys? That goes out to the main room. It just came out of that side door right there. Let's keep going this way. See, now, Danny, now you have to make one for everyone in class. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I should tell my wife about that. That's like an idea she probably hasn't thought of. She's mostly liking making dog or cat related items. But um, yeah, like a dice bag is a great idea. Was it down here? Or up there? See, some of those rooms we haven't been in, that doesn't look familiar. I think it might be downstairs. <laughs> right, Janie? Pay up and we'll make them. How much are, are you going to... Do you do an Etsy shop or anything, Janie? And I'm curious, how much would you charge for something like that? I always feel like my wife undercharges for the stuff she buys. But I don't know. Some people sell things ridiculously cheap for something that's handmade that takes usually hours to make. And a lot of them, they don't make it themselves, you know? So it's easy for them to charge a very low amount because they get it made somewhere else and they just sell it. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it sucks because you're competing with so many people, right? Hmm. Whoa, Crimson Head, let's run away. I need to prepare better. <laughs> let's equip our shotgun, aim it to the sky, and wait for that crimson head to put his pretty little face right in front of it. Okay. Now we got this. <laughs> nice, Relentless. Come on, buddy. Fire! Oh, crap. It didn't get him. I didn't pop his head. I don't know if he's dead or not. Oh, I think he's dead. I think he's actually dead. Okay. Was it this room? I think the piano was somewhere around here. Oh, why? Ow. There we go. I did not need to go in here at all. There's nothing in there. <laughs> That's not the piano room. You know what? Now that I think about it, the piano room is going to be red. Not gray, John. No reason to go back in the gray rooms. You picked up all the items. There's no puzzles. It's a good surprise, though. <laughs> that was a really good surprise. I just want a drink. Um, back this way. Go to the end of the hallway. Ooh, Hasifa. Is the last boss in that game really difficult? Good luck, dude. It might be Aether. Let me check this room right here. If it's not this, it's not there, we'll check that side. Something makes me think it's this room. Fingers crossed. P 
piano. I didn't think this through. <laughs> we need to go to the item box first. I left my sheet music in there. Piano. <laughs> Dang it. Agreed build. I mean, the original Resident Evil on the PlayStation was one of those kind of first super violent games that was just so, you know, if you were an impressionable teen, it's like so incredible to see for the first time. Oh, and the picture. Thank you, Phantasma, when we come back. Yeah, I should be able to go this way. At least we've kind of taken out most of the crimson heads on the way, so it should be relatively safe. I'm glad I brought the shotgun. Oh my gosh. Oh, I left Phantasma because I'm missing a piece of the puzzle. It's like I found the missing musical sheet, but I need the book to put it in. Actually do the piano, I believe. And honestly, I'm just guessing that I need to use the piano. We might not. I mean, she didn't give me any indication that she wanted to play it. She wasn't like, oh, I could play this if I had some sheet music. So I'm just thinking that's the case. Okay, let's, uh, where is it? Grab our sheet. I put it at the top. There it is, missing music. We'll combine those. But yeah, that is true. We also need the screenshot for therapy. She was collecting pianos, like pictures of pianos from every game that she's playing. Or any game that we play, too. There we go. Um, Let's go ahead and reload the shotgun in. I've gone from burning the Crimson Heads to just blowing their heads off, because I just don't have enough ammo. Luckily, we saved up a bunch of shotgun shells. That helps. You know what? I'm actually going to leave these shotgun shells there. Just to save a little bit of space. Yeah, that works. <laughs> I can kind of play chopsticks on a piano. That's about all that I can play, Max. I, I hope we have to play it, Janie. I assume that's why we got the music. And the music is Moonlight Sonata, which is one of my favorite classical songs. My mom used to be able to play it on piano. Yeah, right way. Did I combine these already? Yeah, I did. Or what happens if I examine this now? Now it says the complete musical score of Moonlight Sonata. Okay, good. You can play Tetris? I bet Tetris is actually pretty dang difficult. I watched some people play like Super Mario Brothers on piano and guitar, and it seems like it's kind of complicated. Okay, we go this way. Take a left. And then Bob's your uncle. <laughs> oh, I bet Halloween is pretty easy. Um, a lot of John Carpenter's music is like super simple, but it's very effective and creepy. Oh, just the melody, not like the whole song. Okay. Okay, let's hope that we play this music. All that she says is an, is an expensive grant in piano. She never mentions doing anything with it. this song. It's very melancholic. Nice. Okay, before we go, yes, let's get a screenshot of that piano. So let me hit print screen. Open up my uh, Andy. <laughs> Can't click out of here. There we go. Open up my um, picture program. Make sure it saved it. The clipboard does not contain an image. That didn't work at all. Let me try one more time. I should let me take a screenshot. Usually. You just hit print screen.
No, it's not letting me paste that. That's weird. Hmm. Windows Shift S. Is that like a special screenshot or cut? Let's see. I do have Snip, but you usually can't have Snip and like a full screen program at the same time, unfortunately. Windows Shift S. <laughs> that makes her walk. Well, let's see if it did anything. I'm just hoping to paste it in my program so that I get some. Still says doesn't contain image. Well, worst case scenario, I just got to remember to do this after the fact. Oh, yeah, I can use Steam's version as well. Let me try that F12 ish screenshot. I am using dual monitors, yes. Hey, okay, perfect. Steam got a screenshot. I can use that. I could have always gone back to the VOD and took a, a screenshot there. I could have even done like a <laughs> for therapy to see. Maybe I'll do that. Um, here. I don't need that app open anymore. <laughs> Thank you, Steam. There we go. That is one of my favorite things about Steam, honestly, is it has so many, not even just screenshots, but so many different functions that like the Epic Game Store, Origin, all the different competitors, they just don't have. They're not as mature and caught up, I guess, as a program. So you have to take them from the screen and not the displaying program. I think that's what was happening for me, Scold, yeah. Sometimes full screen apps, they just don't like to be, I guess, <laughs> interrupted like that. And your favorites to play are God Bless the Outcasts from uh, Hunchback and in the Hall of the Mountain King. Is that from The Hobbit? I think my wife loves that song, if it's the one I'm thinking of, Danny. Oh, what is this? I see something on the floor. Trevor's Diary, November 24th, 1967. This is like 30 years before the current events of the game. 11 days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me to a meager plate of food and said, sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion, Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family, I hope they're all right. I've decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you are safe. November 26th. It's like almost Thanksgiving. How could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the day when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said they were going to go visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait, even as I'm writing my memory, is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in the lab coats said something like, most likely your family is already... <laughs> I pray for their safety. November 27th. I somehow managed to get out of that room, but getting out of this mansion won't be as easy. I have to get past all the booby traps, tiger eyes, gold emblem. I have to try and remember for my own sake. I feel your pain, man. <laughs> I feel your pain. And Trevor needs to keep better tracks, so do I. Oh, Max, I love using that snipping tool. I didn't know that was a shortcut for it, but that'd be super handy. I use it all the time, but I don't think it works with like full screen apps because you don't usually get your normal Windows cursor above it, I guess. As soon as you click in a full screen app, it like takes over. And Jania, so it's not. It's a piece of orchestral music composed by Edvard Grieg in 1875, way before The Hobbit. <laughs> nice. I took a music appreciation class I've probably heard both those songs, but it's been so long. Oh, gold emblem. So we had a different emblem already that looks just like this. What was it? Oh, crap. Now we're trapped in here? Come on. Oh, I got gotcha. you. I see what you're doing. We have to put this back. Go get our fake emblem. Swap it with that, just like we did the shotgun. I see. I'll play your game. Yeah.
Yeah, I wish I had more time to like spend learning a musical instrument. I do have a guitar. I have multiple guitars. Never got beyond just kind of messing around with them, but it was super fun. Calluses, though, <laughs> really hurt my fingertips. <laughs> and that's another cool thing about music, Janius. Oh, crap. Once you've learned one instrument, you've kind of learned them all to a point. You know, like you get some basic theory that always kind of works, you know? But I love that she wants to play the Spider-Man theme. Is it the classic Spider-Man theme? Like, Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Like that one? Or... Are you talking like, um, I don't know, one of the new Danny Elfman themes or something? <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Phantasm. I'm happy to hear you're picking back up reading. And yeah, that's true. You get to be a good role model to the students and kind of give them suggestions, of things that you'd like to read recently. It's <laughs> cold. I, I should honestly just do audiobooks because I don't even do that. I'm usually listening to music on my drives or podcasts or something. I should listen to audiobooks just for books that I want to read, but you know, I just don't have to. I think it counts as reading enough. You're still getting the story, you're just absorbing it in a different way. And <laughs> Michael, what's up, dude? Good to see you. Oh, nice. Alan Wake Remastered. I want to play that. I was bummed it's not on Steam. It's going to be like a timed exclusive to the Epic Game Store, unfortunately. I still might bite the bullet and pick it up, but uh, have you tried it out yet? What do you think? I love the original Alan Wake. It's such a good game. <laughs> Terror Tuesday Joker Alice. Welcome back. Okay, let's go ahead and reload our gun, but I'm going to keep the bullets in here still. And I have to grab that fake emblem. Here we go. How was I supposed to know this is fake? Like, I'm not even sure where this belongs, to be honest. It's galled all around the outer edges due to frequent fitting. It's just like wood or something, isn't it? But I'm like 90% sure I'm supposed to swap it. Put this back. There we go. Yes, Bill, I've loved Max Payne 1 and 2. The 3 was good too, but that wasn't Remedy. Um, Alan Wake. I also even like Quantum Break. That was called a Quantum Break. I forget. But it wasn't my favorite game by then, but it was entertaining. And of course, Control most recently was great too. Nice, Michael. I want to hear what you think about it. That's going to be awesome. I saw some videos kind of comparing it with the original. It looked like they cleaned it up nicely it's not like a full-on remake of a brand new game but definitely looks cleaner and the models look better for the characters i had to guess phantasma i think we might be nearing or even just past the halfway point but i can't say for certain it's so hard to tell because there's so much backtracking in this game it's not a super long game to be honest Oh, you think only 25%? I would have thought it would have been quick farther after... Not quite two streams, but we're getting close to the end of two streams. <laughs> Time to pick up the pace. Oh, camera angle. There we go. Okay, so I grab this one. It's going to lock me out, of course. And then we drop this other one in there. And we can take the nice shiny one out. But I'm not sure where this goes yet. I've probably already seen the place to put it. I just can't remember off the top of my head where that is. Okay, let's check the map. The rooms are locked down. We are missing something. In that little room just around the corner. It's probably just a healing item, but I think I'm going to go back there and grab that. I think all of the other doors I've tried, and I think they're all like a different type of key.
wait a second. We got that emblem in the room that has the clock, right? Initially, that wooden emblem. Remember we put the gold one there? And then it and unlocks something with the clock. Then maybe we get a new key. I'm hoping that's the case. <laughs> and Blue Rezo, what is going on, dude? We keep syncing up on things to play on Twitch. Hey, great minds think alike, right? You're currently playing through this yourself. And with Jill, how far are you into the game, Blue? That's really cool. Small world, right? Are you liking Far Cry 6? I heard good things about it. I heard Far Cry 6 wasn't anything like evolutionary. It's pretty much, if you like Far Cry, it's more of the same. So you know you're going to enjoy it. Okay, so we're just a little bit past where you are. I think I'm just about done with the armor key. And I'm about to use an another one. Oh, about 11 hours? Oh yeah, so then we're probably not quite to the halfway point. This is where we need the stone. Never mind. Forgot all about that. We don't have the right stone for that. I see you're thinking about getting Judgment and Bayonetta next week. The most scary stuff you've been playing is Maneater, Bioshock Infinite, Alien Isolation, and Soma. Three of those are really creepy. Bioshock Infinite is a little bit creepy, but Alien Isolation, Soma, mm, ah, that's great horror right there. No Blue Rest. So we streamed Resident Evil 2 right before the remake came out, and then we streamed the remake. But I've never streamed Resident Evil 1. Just never got around to it. So... Oh, it's just in this hallway. Right down here. Oh, really, Michael? So you actually like 6 way more than 5. That's good. They are making improvements. Though. Yes, this is where we got this emblem. So let's go ahead and put this one down. I do think Bioshock, the original, was pretty creepy. Bioshock Infinite was a little bit less creepy. There was still a little weirdness going on, but I think Bioshock 1 was a little bit more horror. Nailed it. Okay, I thought that might do something with the clock. I wasn't sure how to open that. So now we come over here. Oh, it's got the four different types of keys that we need. When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. It looks like you can turn the gears inside the clock. Turn it which gear? Turn the small one? Turn it which direction? Left? When the two have run each other through... So should one be on the sword? And one be on, like, the chest, maybe? I guess when I think of, like, running someone through, I think sword, chest, but... I put that one there. Oh, good catch, Skull. I totally forgot about this painting right here. We did look at it before. But yeah, this is exactly what we need. Okay, so it looks like... We have the little dagger in the chest and the big sword right through the dude's head. Ouch. Okay. Big hand, head, little hand, chest. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I would have wasted too much time on there. So big, the small gear turns the big hand. We want that one one more. Oh, wrong direction. One more time, and then that one's good. And now the big hand we want at the bottom, so it needs to be six o'clock, essentially. Large, doesn't matter which direction, it's gonna be the same amount of turning. That should be it. No. Get a key? It looks like it might be a key. Yes, we got the mansion key, but we're still not done with the other key, which sucks because now that's even more stuff in our inventory. So which key is this one? The shield key. Oh man, this is the one thing that I wish this game did was mark all the doors with what key it needs because I am so bad at remembering which is which. It's ridiculous. 
Yes, Joker Alex. I would definitely agree about Bioshock Infinite like that. And you're going to do Resident Evil 2 after 1 and then going to 7. So are you doing the remake of 2 Blue or the uh, original Blue uh, 2? Both great for different reasons, I think. Wall of Heroes. Man, I forgot all about that. It's been so long since I played Infinite. I never played Bioshock 2. I played the first one and then I skipped to Infinite. I heard mixed things on 2. Some people love it. Some people thought it was kind of like, eh, it's more of the same. Doesn't really do anything too impressive. Okay, let's go upstairs and check these doors. You can do the remake. So have you played it before, Blue? Or will this be your first time playing the game? Because I have played this game before, even though it doesn't look like I have. <laughs> I have. It was just on the GameCube in like 2002. So, so long ago I've forgotten everything. Oh, this is your first time. I loved it. I thought the Resident Evil 2 remake was amazing. And actually, maybe you guys know, but I have a clip of it. Don't watch it, Blue, because it spoils it. But the very last boss in your second playthrough of Resident Evil 2 is remake. I killed the last boss on my last bullet and i wasn't sure if that was just dumb luck or if it's supposed to happen like that or what but i was just like just blew my mind like really how lucky am i that i didn't run out of ammo and i finished him off it seemed too good to be true okay let's go ahead and save it again <laughs> i feel like we can use the save especially after getting that new key And usually Bioshock 2 is the only one Ken Levine and 2K were not involved. Yeah, I thought they like farmed that one out to a different company, right? A lot of um, them do that. I think, Michael, I was just on the normal difficulty. I usually play most games my first time through just on whatever the default is. Okay, I think I'm going to keep the rest of my inventory as it is. I don't know of any puzzle pieces I need to carry with me right now, so we'll just look for new stuff, essentially. You ate an olive? <laughs> I mean, I'm not a huge olive fan either, but it's such dramatics, Phantasma. <laughs> surprise olive, even worse. <laughs> Especially when you just don't like them. Nobody wants that kind of surprise. Okay, what is this door? That one is a helmet. Okay, so we can't do that one. There's another one just through this door and then to the right. Is it really Joker? I've never read the book and they have like a show based on Man in the High Castle as well, right? Have you guys watched it? I think my coworker started it. He seemed to like it. I don't know if he continued watching it or not. That one's locked from the other side. Dang. Okay, there's like nothing on this side. So we basically need to go the other side of the mansion with our key. Oh, but olive oil usually isn't sour though. So it was that plus sour flavor, I guess. It's on Prime, that's right. I knew it was not Netflix, but it was something that I had. If I go... There is a door downstairs underneath all of these stairs. Let's go check that out. What dish was it that you ordered that had a surprise olive? <laughs> like, I don't go out of my way to eat olives, but if there's olives in, you know, some dish that I buy or uh, pizza or something, I'll eat it. It's not the end of the world. Oh. That's where those things go. I totally forgot about those indentations. Okay, I think we can actually open that right now. Well, let's check out a few more doors and we'll make our way to an item box and grab those things. Also helmets. Where are my armor doors at? Olives and chicken sandwiches. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Green olives or black olives? Or do you have a preference? My wife loves olives. She always gets it on pizza. I wouldn't even pick it off, necessarily. It's just, I would prefer not to have it, but it's not a big deal. 
Oh, dang, Phantasma. That's brutal. <laughs> Sorry it ruined your dish. Okay, if I keep going this way, there is a item box and two locked doors. Hopefully, push that, Jill. Look at those camera angles, dude. It's hard to explain the problem, but watch this. Okay, here's a good example. If I want to come towards the camera, I have to press down, right? So I press down on the analog stick. I'm still pressing down, but now my character's running right because the, the camera angle changed. So I have to let go and press down again. So if you ever see me making weird, erratic stops and movements, that's why. I do love these static camera angles, but it, it takes a little getting used to. Oh, sweet. I'll check that out, Michael. Nice. I do have Amazon Prime. I, I think you get Audible with that, which is like audiobooks. Here's a zombie. Oh, I left like three zombies in here, didn't I? They broke through a window and I just like said, peace. Took off. I think we got some killing to do. Stay down. Okay, they don't even see me here. I'm going to try to run past them. If I don't kill them, they never become Crimson Heads, which is technically safer. Oh, no! That was so quick. The other one still doesn't even notice me. Is this one dead? <laughs> He's just chilling there. I don't think this one's dead. He's not bleeding. At least I don't see it. Oh yeah, he's alive. I love how oblivious his buddy is. They are totally trolling me. <laughs> Over here. You know, there's a... Have you guys ever seen that zombie movie, Return of the Living Dead? It's kind of a comedy. It's very silly. But there's a scene when they've like... I think they've taken over this... Uh, there's a crimson head coming at me. I got to switch to my shotgun. But there's a scene where they've like wiped everybody out out of this place. They killed the cops and everything. So what the zombies do is they get into the cop car. They grab the, the radio and they say, send more cops. <laughs> they're pretending like they're our police to bring more police so they can eat them. It's great. Oh no, Max, some problems with the PC version. Well, I'm probably not going to get it right away, Max. Hopefully by the time I try it out, they'll have ironed out some of those bugs, but I'll see it. I got to switch to uh, my gun really fast. Celestial Lynn, thank you so much for the host. How are you doing, Celestial Lynn? How was your stream? What were you playing? I bet you were playing something creepy, especially for October. <laughs> I got to switch real fast. I'm about to get killed here. Please say no. Well, I kind of want to do it soon because we have played the other two games. What happens on release day, Phantasma? Is it, are you planning on playing it or you won't be here on release day? I don't even know if it releases on the day that I stream. Probably not. Oh, you want to play it first? You might have to be quick. You might have to be quick, Phantasma. I have to be quick right now. You just slap that other zombie out of the way. That was amazing. <laughs> Did you see that? He just went, get out of here. <laughs> okay, let's uh, reload this gun. Swap back to this. Boom. So, question, Phantasma. What day does it come out? And um, what day of the week is that? So, like, it's like October 22nd, but I'm not sure what day of the week that is off the top of my head. That was dangerous. Oh, this one's different. The Spencer family emblem. I don't have that at all. <laughs> Boom! Headshot. How about this door? Finally, we can get rid of a key. Yes, discard. Throw it in the trash. Burn it in hell. I don't want to take it up my inventory anymore. Ugh. So, I mean, at the earliest Phantasma, we'd play it on Saturday. 
However, what are the chances that we will finish a game on Thursday to be ready for that game on Saturday? Too likely. You'll probably have more than a few days to play that. Okay, on this picture, the title is written as follows. Bring the light of truth to the three spirits. Bring the light of truth to the three spirits. Okay, here's a lighting puzzle. Oh, I see some light right here. <laughs> you killed with knifing as Chris. Oh my gosh, Joe Corrales. You got some patience. <laughs> no, thank you. Did you run by a lot of stuff or did you kill everything you could with a knife? A picture of a valiant wearing a bracelet. It's set in yellow stained glass and there's a switch here. Of course I'm going to press it. Oh, now it's red or orange. What if I press it again? Now it's back to yellow. Okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, you should have no problem at all, Phantasma. We're definitely not going to play on release date because I don't stream on that release date. What did this say? Bring the light of truth. Okay, so we have to find some other source that kind of tells us what order those lights should be, red and yellow. Oh, there's even more over here. I think there's like six of them. Lisa, protected by the three spirits. The picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. Okay, so this is what we need to do for the colors. Necklace is purple. The crown is green. And... The bracelet is orange. Oh no, why did I press a button? That just pissed off all the birds. I bet if I would have done that correctly, we wouldn't have been mauled. I should check my healing. We're doing okay on healing. Stay down. <laughs> Did we get them all? I don't have any music to help. You know, I felt like I had infinite handgun ammo. We're actually using it up now. Okay, this one has a bracelet, so this one should be orange. Yellow. Oh, it can only change those two colors? I thought necklace needs to be... Not red. Purple. Yeah, that's the right color for necklaces, right? Necklace is purple. Bracelet is orange. And crown is green. Okay, what did this one have? He's wearing a crown, so that needs to be green, right? There we go. Oh, Twill, get some good sleep. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Oh, that might be a Joker. I was thinking you can cycle through all of them, but some of them just go from like A to B. But maybe when I change the other ones, it'll fix them. Crown is green. That's correct. Leave that there. Oh, it's on different sides. Okay, they're the same picture. I get it. This one needs to be orange. Now it says it's white. If I go back to the other side, then can I change it to orange? Oh, because it's combining the two colors. Is that right? Like white and red makes orange, I think is what they're doing. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that makes more sense. I think they're all good now. No birds to attack me this time. That's it. Hey, much better. <laughs> that is a good question, though. I mean, I assume this place is just so dilapidated. All kinds of critters find their way in this mansion. Is that another mask that we need? It is. Hey, this is the one with uh, no mouth. Speak no evil. Oh, that's a shortcut to get out of here, too. That's perfect. 
We can drop it off right here. <laughs> we should call OSHA. They get eaten by zombies immediately, but at least that'll be in the report, right? <laughs> you were saying a show from the 80s, Max. I just heard that... You know, guys have seen that show, That 70s Show? I heard they're, like, remaking it, but, like, with a 90s twist. What do you guys think of that? <laughs> it's like, oh, man, that's my childhood. Now I feel even older. Okay, uh, this is the one without a mouth right here. Yeah, I mean, I was born in 82, so... I was born in the 80s, but I feel like I was a 90s kid. Because when I started making a lot of memories and I was impressionable in school and everything, it was in the 90s. I remember some of the 80s, but more fun memories of stuff going on during the 90s. Sweet, we only need one more of these masks. But we can also go back to our item box, get those two emblems, and check out that other door in the main hallway. Dapper, what is going on, Dapper? Glad you can join us. Do you remember, yeah, you imagine having to hurry to go into the restroom, but first you need to solve the painting puzzle. <laughs> Just kind of doing the pee-pee dance, Joker. <laughs> Trying to figure out the puzzle at the same time. It's going really well, Dapper. I've only died once. And honestly, that was a really stupid death. That shouldn't have happened. I was kind of being careless, and I just started the stream, and I was kind of remembering the controls all over again. Oh, you're a 90s kid, uh, Michael? So, like, you were born in the 90s? So, like, how much of the 90s do you remember? Where is the nearest item box from where we're at? One downstairs. Actually, I think they're all downstairs. Yeah. Is it going to be quicker to go to the left or the right? I think it's quicker to go to the left. Which one has, like... What am I thinking of? You know what? That might actually be quicker to go back the way we came. <laughs> now that I think about it. If we go... Here? No, we don't want to go outside. What is it, actually? Oh, self-driving car. Sorry, I missed that, Max. Um, Knight Rider. I remember Knight Rider. I used to get a kick out of that show. David Hasselhoff? Is he in that? <laughs> I'm trying to remember the main actor. I think the car's name was Kit. It was Hasselhoff. Okay, I thought so. See, I don't remember a lot of that Joker because I was so young. I do remember Ronald Reagan as a kid. I don't remember Chernobyl meltdown. I remember reading about it, but I don't remember like seeing it on the news or anything. Like, I don't know, when you're like 9, 10, 11 years old, you're not really paying much attention. The name sounds familiar. Didn't watch it. No. I do remember Highlander. I wasn't like hardcore watching it, but I do remember it on TV. I can like kind of remember the theme song when it popped up. Yeah, I was going to say, you were probably starting to make more permanent memories, Michael, towards like the end of the night. What about this door? Where is it? Here? No. Not the door right here. I don't know what that opens up. Oh, that was a special emblem door. Okay. So yeah, let's go to this item box. Unfortunately, this is a one-way ticket. We have to go upstairs then. I remember Xena. <laughs> was that beginning of, or end of 90s? Or was that like... I think it was like towards the end of the 90s, right? Like I think that was more like I was in high school and stuff when Xena was on. And then some shows were just always on. Like you guys are talking about SNL. SNL was a kind of always a thing. SNL was before my time, and it'll probably be on at time. And that was like mid-90s? Okay, yeah, so like I was probably just starting high school, like 96, 97. Um, let's go ahead and get some more shotgun shells. Let's grab those two emblems. Got the wind crest, and I have two of them. Hold up. 
could have sworn we had two emblems. No, you know what? I must have been thinking about just, um, oh, what is that thing? The shield emblem. That's what we had two of. Okay. Well, I mean, I can go put that there anyway, but I think I'll wait. Let's check out more doors. <laughs> we still have a lot more doors to open. Let's put these back. I need that sweet, sweet inventory. Oh, is that not for that door? It looked like it was the same... Is that a hexagon shape? I figured it would fit right next to that door, but I needed two of them. Do you guys use VPNs to like watch Netflix and other stuff in different countries? I know it's getting pretty popular. I've never done it myself, but I feel like every time I search for like, where do I stream this movie, you know? And if I look on Netflix, there's like a link to it. So I'm like, oh good, it's on Netflix. I bring it up and it, it has like some basic information, but it doesn't let me stream the movie, which makes me think, oh, I bet that um, it's, Probably available, just not in my country. That's kind of what I assume. Went the wrong way. There's a locked door there I need to check out first, just to see if it is what we have. <laughs> I, I heard nothing, Max. I heard nothing. Did we check that one already? I did. I think it's a helmet door but it could be armor. And I think if you go to like Japan or something, you can actually watch, what is it? All the Studio Ghibli movies? Oh, that one's a helmet key. I thought so, dang it. Hopefully I'll remember this time. Oh, Bill, you got to watch Halloween on Netflix. Um, we just watched the original Halloween, but through that horror streaming service, Shudder. If you guys need some unique, different horror movies, I'd recommend trying a free trial of that Shudder. They have a lot of good stuff on there for horror. <laughs> I know that, Max. Anytime somebody kind of makes some weird contraption through, like, using random crap, always call it MacGyvering. Another door down there. Let's check that one. Really, we're just testing all the locked doors to see which ones might use the key we have. <laughs> 30 seconds and then you're out. They do have some not scary kind of horror movies. Like, what what are your favorite movies that are horror themed but not scary? Like, Andy wanted one of those the other days. She wanted to watch one. So we watched uh, Beetlejuice, which is definitely horror themed. But it's not really a scary movie. It's just, it's a fun. It's it's a comedy, and I love Beetlejuice. So I had a really good time watching that. Okay, what door was this? Nice. This was Shield. Wait, what? Was there only one Shield door in the entire mansion? I think that's the first time I've used this. All right, get rid of it. Sure. Coraline. That's another good one, Aether. I need to watch that again. I'm gonna recommend that. And of course. Nightmare Before Christmas, which works as a Halloween or a Christmas movie. I think it's more Halloween, but it, it kind of works for both. I do have a Switch. I haven't picked up Dread yet. I will probably eventually. Not going to wait for a sale or anything, just more free time in the schedule. You know, it's, it might be a game I want to stream. I'm not sure. It sounds like it's tough, so I'll probably get a lot of deaths playing that. I'm out of here. I recognize this room. I have vivid memories. Oh, you just learned that uh, the Netherlands uses the phrase Texas to signify something as crazy, <laughs> which is kind of funny because in America, we generally apply like a lot of wackiness going on to um, Florida. You know, you always, there's like a joke about if you just type Florida man, and your birth date, then you get a story. Try to find out what Florida man did on your birthday. I think that's how you do it. I forget mine was bad. I tried mine one time and it was not a happy story. Sometimes they're really funny. Like man steals four monkeys from the zoo, Florida man. Mine wasn't fun like that. Mine was more disturbing. 
Nice. Have you beaten it already, Michael? We have a few folks in our um, community that are really enjoying Metroid Dread right now. I didn't scold. I, I, I think there's a boss battle in that room. So what I want to do before I go in there is go get my rocket, my grenade launcher. Just, just a hint. <laughs> I vaguely remember there's something bad in that one. Is there really? I love Blue Oyster Cult. At least a couple of their songs. Uh, Don't Fear the Reaper. Such a good song. Let's load up, guys. Let's grab our rocket launcher. I put that in here, didn't I? There we go. And we still have a little bit of room, which is good. How am I doing on health? I'm on caution. I'm actually going to heal right now because I'm pretty much... Not max capacity, but I have a ton of healing items, so we might as well use one. Let's go ahead and just use... Let's use this. We'll probably get more red ones later. I'm going to keep it on me just for when I need it. Katamari, you picked it up too? Everybody is. That's great. I love to see um, Nintendo making big sales on Metroid because Metroid was never like a huge seller, to be honest. It's one of their flagship titles, but it was never like a massive sales thing, you know? So it's, it's good to see that. It never did like bad. It, it just wasn't like their star show. Not like a Mario Kart or Mario games in general. And you've had Florida man who attacked McDonald's worker over straw sentenced to jail. <laughs> Stupid stuff like that. I love it. I thought I thought um, criminal records were like available to the public wherever it happens. Blue. I didn't think it was like a Florida specific thing. Maybe it is, though. I don't know. Okay, this is the way, right? You got shocked when you saw Phantasm, the, the horror movie Joker, Phantasm? I haven't seen that in many years. And so many places are just trying to get rid of straws however they can. They give you those like lids that kind of just have the small hole that you can drink out of pretty easily. I think I've only seen the original Phantasm Joker. Yeah, so this is a clue. You see how there's like spider webs everywhere? And yeah, we're gonna equip our grenade launcher. Just in case. Which is good. I do hate paper straws. I know they're good for the environment, biodegradable and everything. I just hate using them. Oh, it's not spiders, it's the snake. That's right. Oh my lord, I should have saved it first. Holy crap. Let's reload. Gosh, should I heal right now? I'm at caution. I don't know if I can take a hit or not. I think I'm going to use it. I don't want to take one hit and die from this thing. I don't know the last time I saved it. Can I shoot him anyway? Like, hopefully. Oh, crap. Oh, I missed. I can't see you. <laughs> this sucks. What is this? Oh, another mask. I think it's the last mask that we need. Okay, much better seeing him from that angle. At least I can know I'm shooting. Oh, crap. Ow. How are we doing on health? We're poisoned. We do have a serum, but that sucks. Okay, let's go ahead and equip our shotgun. I should have grabbed more shotgun ammo. He's got to be pretty close to death. Right? By death, I mean we scare him off. Dang it. Holy cow. Okay, I'm glad I went back and got that grenade launcher. I knew there was something bad in there. The wine casks are stacked on top of there. <laughs> now we have to go use that serum, right? 
So we got the mask. Oh, was that a waste of ammo? Could I just run around and like ignore him? Scold? Oh, that sucks. Well, at least we got some shotgun shells. Oh, you don't have to fight him at all? Can you just like run out of there? Oh, man. Well, that's what's fun about not knowing the game. Is that you get those kind of entertaining crazy scenarios that, while useless are fun <laughs> and in hindsight you could just laugh at yourself oh lunchtime alex nice have a good lunch break dude okay i think we got everything out of there yeah come on barry what are you doing he just shows up when he wants to And Sheila, you stayed up until 1 a.m. doing two of your projects for the sole purpose of being able to grab your laptop. You did it, Sheila! Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, crap. Poisoned serum. Right, we already have it. Just go to the item box. Is that Barry? The suspense is killing me. <laughs> that's a very good point, Blue. How do we miss with a grenade launch? I know my aim sucks, but that's still ridiculous. Barry? Barry? What a nice guy. This is interesting. The music's changed here. So, wait, let me look at my health. Hey, we're back to fine. We're not poisoned anymore. Did you use our serum? Or do we still have our serum? We still have it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Some of these quotes, Michael, are amazing. Amazingly terrible. I don't know how they happen. I say them, I still don't know how they happen. <laughs> I'm relentless. That was a random one, but it worked for the situation. Okay, let's go ahead and drop our grenade launcher off because I blew all our grenades. Put that away. And I'll just keep the mask so we can use it on um, get that big coffin down or whatever. We should save it, I guess. And we're wasting a ton of ammo. That's okay. Because with my luck, we have a lot of ink ribbons. And with my luck, whatever comes out of that coffin is going to kill me too. And I love it how you guys always put the name of the game we were playing with the quote, because that usually helps me kind of figure out the context of what was said, why we said it. Sometimes I still don't know, but it does help sometimes. <laughs> See, like that one? I think what that one was, RK, is one of those scenes where you just have to be completely still and not press any buttons, be totally quiet. But if I just went like... Oh. Little fart there. Ghost would have e eaten us alive. <laughs> okay, so we need to go back outside. Where are we? That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> we, I think we already did that scene, right? I don't know if we did or not. I, I, I thought we went in a room that has the collapsing, f um, the ceiling, but like. I just did the puzzle. I don't know. I don't think I had to get saved by Barry. So we're on the right floor. Yeah, we just need to go back outside. So let's go this way. Yeah, it was near the beginning, right, Blue? Yeah, I think we already did that. <laughs> Open up, Detroit police! Good old Detroit become human. Um, that one about cooking the hand, that was such a weird puzzle. It's so gross. There was this puzzle in Techno Babylon where you had to like use your hand to like, or use a hand, like a severed hand, as like a fingerprint reader, but it also had to be alive, like warm, you know? So you had to like cook this hand before you actually used it on the fingerprint thing. It was so gross, so gross. Very nice timing. Okay, this should take us there. 
we switch back to the pistol. And this is the last mask that we need, too. <laughs> These quotes are amazing. Do they really, Bill? I don't think I've ever seen that before. I only played the first episode of Revelations 2. I think it was like free or something. And uh, gosh, I don't remember that at all. That's amazing. I think this door takes us out. <laughs> nice inside joke. Very meta of the game. I... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't watch the trailer, Phantasma, but I saw it playing in the background on mute. I don't know what I think about that. I don't know what I think about Home Alone at all. Another one. It'll probably be terrible. From what I looked in the comments, people were just tearing it apart. I don't know if that's because they just don't want any more Home Alone. Or Home Alone without Macaulay Culkin. Or what? Oh, Sean! <laughs> if you're easily scared... There are some good jump scares in the Resident Evil games. You might have a flying drink. Okay, here is the last spot for a mask. Let's see what kind of horror comes out of that coffin. Wait, not there? Is that not the one? This one's with the hole where the nose should be. Wait, which one do I have? This is the right one. There we go, I just wasn't in the right pixel. We've been working on this puzzle for a long time. The first Home Alone is amazing. I love it. I don't remember two very much. That was like when he's in New York or something. That looks like a crimson head. Oh, crap. And then they locked me in here. Glad I brought my shotgun. He's not fast, though. Maybe he's not a crimson head. Stay dead. I got an achievement. He has to be dead. Mortal Kombat! Oh yeah, he's bleeding. Luckily, they just gave me some new shotgun shells right over here. Oh yes, I will take the shotgun shells. And another emblem. Oh, this is a switch. Press it. And there's something there. Okay. So we got the stone and metal object, and we also have that wind emblem. I'm guessing that's what I needed to open up that door, but maybe not. What if we examine this? Oh, there's something on the backside. Nothing unusual. There's something there. What do you mean there's nothing unusual? It's like a different picture. An emblem is carved on the octagonal object. Anything special? Let's see anything. Oh, no, there was like a door on the right side of the map that needed the family emblem. Well, the following inscription is carved in this indentation. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. I thought we read that before. I think we're done in here. Let's check the map. Yeah, we're done. Okay, let's get out of here. So yeah, I think I know where to use this emblem right now. We should just go straight there. Oh my gosh, Phantasma. That'd be terrifying. I would hate to get water on a laptop. Hopefully it's fine. Yeah, hopefully it's fine. I've, I've heard if your electronics get wet, you're supposed to put them in rice. I guess that helps like soak all the moisture out of your electronics. I don't know how well it actually works, but it's an interesting idea. No, it's that little room right there. I think this is going to be the quickest way. So it was kind of damp. You removed it and carried it around with me in a heart. Oh, there you go. The sun. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> oh, Bill, time to go to bed. Yeah, we're wrapping up here pretty soon. Have a great night, Bill. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for following. Hope we see you again. We'll be back on Thursday with more of this game. Skywalker, what's up, dude? How you been, man? What is new, Skywalker? Yeah, this is kind of a shortcut to get back to where we want to be. And I'm, I'm pretty sure 
A door didn't need a key. I think it needs this emblem. I hope. <laughs> this is just a total guess. Right here. This door said it's locked. The Spencer family emblem is carved into the doorknob. Oh, it's not this. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was like, ooh, is that the emblem? No. Okay, so if that's not it, let me go back and I'm going to try to put it in that other door. It looks like it goes into a dungeon or something. That's true. They'll have to replace it, which, uh, yeah, I mean, we've had coworkers do that too. I've had coworkers break their computers. I wonder, like, how pissed off the IT group, that kind of thing. Now, you can replace keyboards in laptops, but you have to find that, of course, matching keyboard. It can be tricky. And it's not the easiest thing to replace in the world. Yeah, you're probably good if it's gone that long already, Phantasma. You're probably good. And blue, by the way, what is uh, Hammurabi's lock? I wasn't sure what that is. <laughs> you usually don't care. It's like, yeah, it's fine. Accidents happen. Now, if you made a habit of it, that'd be a problem. Okay, so it's actually just underneath the stairs. Honestly? Oh, that's the eye for an eye. Thank you, blue. Um, four years is probably around time to replace that laptop anyway. Like, usually companies have a four or five year turnaround time. Get new hardware. Let's try using this here. No? It might not have been in the right spot to use. Okay, that does go in one of them. Not sure about the other one, though. Sheely, that was fast. <laughs> You've only been working on that for like 30 minutes. I want to try to get to the nearest item box again and check that other emblem that I have. I don't know if it fits in there or not. It might. Oh, I forgot about that, Phantasma. Hey, maybe they'll be happy to get it back. <laughs> That's brutal blue. That is brutal, especially for an accident or something. That's a little too harsh. <laughs> I'm glad if we don't do that. It's right here. I mean, in general, Shan, Apple likes it that way. They, they've never been very good about letting you modify equipment, repair it yourself. They'd m much rather you them to do it. <laughs> Make everything difficult so they have to be the ones that fix or replace everything. That's one thing I heard recently. If you guys are familiar with that new Steam Deck device that's coming out, it's kind of like a like a Switch, but for Steam games. They're actually going to have like replaceable thumbsticks, which is really cool. I like that idea. So if it starts drifting or you break it or you get it wet or something, you can go in there and actually just take it out. Won't be super easy, but you could technically replace it without replacing the whole thing. Okay, so what was that other item that I had? A wind crest. No, is that right? What? No, that one only has six sides. That is for something different. Wind crest. Okay, no, that's not what we need. We need another octagonal item. That's a hexagon. Okay, well, what other doors do we need to try? Now that we have that other key, I think we can, like, try all of them, don't we? Oh, no, we used the key. That's right. We only got to use it once. Hmm. Well, <laughs> what do I need to open now? In this case, I guess all that we can really do is check all the red rooms again. Oh, res uh, seriously, Skywalker. Because I, I love to download music, you know, for my starting soon screens. And for Resident Evil games, it is always a save room song. 
Those, those are just the best. Okay, well, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of at a loss. I think I just have to check every room that still shows up as red and see what I miss picking up. Hopefully one of these has a key. We're missing something big. There, It's like hallways, though, which is weird. In general, Michael, I mean, Macs are generally pretty high quality components, so the reliability is pretty good. Um, you, of course, pay for that, like with other stuff as well. Like you can buy a cheap Windows computer and a really expensive Windows computer with higher components, which is going to have more reliability, of course. Okay. This is actually probably a perfect time to save it. And wrap this up, unfortunately. Stupid work. I do have to wake up super early, but this is probably a good stopping point. It's going to be tough to continue, though. Do you guys have any tips on what I'm missing? What we might need to do next? The only thing I think of is run around all the red rooms and make sure we pick up all the items. I just don't know what item we missed. <laughs> Something obscure out there. Hopefully it's one of those emblems we need or a key, but usually those are hidden behind like a big puzzle or something, which makes me think, oh, I'm not sure if I missed something that simple or not. 